Okay, Dennis, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having accepted uh, my uh, interview. Uh, well, uh, I know you work uh, in, uh, in open source field. You work uh, in particular in uh, BT Space Server. Yes. It's a project uh, that is uh, very, very interesting for me. Uh, I, I also suggest uh, BT Space Server to people who I speak with. And so uh, I would like to ask you, um, if possible, uh, what is your role inside uh, BTC Pay Server and what is, in particular, uh, the software you are working on? Yeah, sure. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm working on the, on the code side of uh, things and I'm involved with a lot of our repositories. We uh, have a wide range of things. It's not just the uh, BTC Pay Server app, but there's also a lot of infrastructure going on to, uh, to make it deployable. Uh, so I'm also involved with Docker stuff. I uh, got into the project uh, taking care of our documentation website. Uh, we're about to maybe relaunch the website and so on. So um, I, I work on quite a, a few things with the code. Um, but I also help Nicholas and Cooks, who were the main back-end developers with uh, yeah, extending the product. And we recently developed a plugin system for BTC Pay so that not just we as the core team can uh, keep on working yeah. on BTC Pay and evolving the software, but also give people from the outside, other developers, the chance to uh, yeah, enhance and improve the core product. And one of those plugins I work on is called Allen Bank, which gives you the opportunity to share the internal BTC Pay Server Lightning node with others. Um, you might know that uh, when you have a BTC Pay Server store, you can connect your hardware wallet and you, you are uh, self-sovereign in a sense uh, that uh, your keys aren't exposed on the server and so on. And the, the story with setting up multiple stores and uh, also offering those to, uh, to people outside is very good with the on-chain uh, stuff, yeah. but we always lacked a solution to yeah, do the same for Lightning. And merchants nowadays want to accept Lightning payments because uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's very important. the way they do business. And so I wrote this plugin uh, which the server admin can install and use to yeah, basically open up the internal Lightning node and share it with their users so that they don't have to take care of managing channels, uh, balancing the liquidity and so on. And they, uh, using Allen Bank, those users get a simple banking-like interface where they just can send and receive money using Lightning. Yes, in fact, it's uh, very interesting. I used uh, Allen Bank uh, for this purpose uh, to share um, to share the, uh, the accounts with others. Yes. And because uh, before uh, Allen Banks, uh, it was possible only for uh, uh, on-chain uh, part and with yes. uh, your plugin, this is possible. And this is uh, very, very interesting. And uh, about Allen Bank, uh, I would like to ask you uh, uh, what, uh, in your opinion, are the main differences uh, uh, between uh, Ellen Bank and uh, Ellen Beats, for example. Yes, um, Ellen Bank, as I said, is a plugin for BTC Pay. So uh, this can only be used in a BTC Pay server context. Um, this is good in a sense that it offers very tight integration with BTC Pay server. But then again, it's yeah, it's kind of uh, tight to, to the project as well, which uh, doesn't make it as flexible as other solutions, like you mentioned Ellen Bits or LND Hub is also a similar project, uh, which yeah, aims to, to solve similar problems. I think uh, Ellen Bits uh, is uh, maybe, yes, it is also a plugin system, uh, but I think that uh, Ellen Bank is uh, uh, very simple also yes. to, to, to be used because uh, just a few click uh, and you can enable in uh, BTC Pay uh, server uh, infrastructure. Yeah, yeah for, for LM Bank there are basically two main use cases. One is uh, connecting it to BTC Pay server stores so that uh, multiple merchants can receive to their own wallets and as I said not take care of the uh, rather nitty-gritty lightning details. 
And the other one is uh, not even connected to stores, but um, people can have a bank account based on BTC yeah. Pay and Allen Bank. And so you can uh, even use this without a BTC Pay server store and potentially uh, use it as a way to provide lightning banking infrastructure for friends and family, the Uncle Jim model, as we <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, in fact, it's very, very interesting. Last question. Uh, you told me that uh, there is also the possibility to um, work with Allen Banks uh, using the API. Yes. Uh, so can you tell me something more about this? Uh, yeah. Uh, In BCC Pay, we have the uh, new Greenfield, Greenfield API and uh, plugins also have the possibility to extend this API. And so uh, Allen Bank offers various endpoints with which you can, for instance, create new wallets, uh, receive to those, send from those. And I think uh, from the regular user perspective, the, the thing I just mentioned is more like for developers who want to build on Allen Bank. Uh, and from a regular user's perspective, uh, something else might be very interesting uh, because I implemented an LND Hub compatible API for LM Bank wallets, which gives users the opportunity to use their uh, LM Bank wallet inside of wallet apps like uh, Blue Wallet, Zeus, and wow. Albi, for instance. And this is great for the end user as well. So this is not ah, yeah. just a, a developer thing. Uh, but I could use, for instance, Zeus to connect to my Allen Bank use, uh, wallet on my BTC Pay and send you money from there. Uh, very nice. Also, GetAlbi is uh, yes, very, yes. very interesting. Right. Yes, uh, in fact, I always suggest a BTC Pay server for uh, uh, all, uh, all the shops, uh, etc., um, who ask about uh, yep. a solution. Because uh, with Allen Bank, uh, there is also the possibility to work uh, uh, with uh, Lightning, that is in this moment uh, the best solution for uh, getting payments. Yep. Uh, yes, and the API is, uh, is a good solution. I still didn't start uh, uh, to use uh, and test the API, but uh, I, I am start, I, I just started reading uh, the documentation. So, uh, very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. It uh, has thank been you. A, a, a pleasure <laughs> for me. And I will, uh, I will uh, ask you some other information maybe in the future for uh, implementing something new. Thank yeah, you sure. very much. Looking Thank forward you. to do this again at another conference. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So very interesting this interview with uh, uh, Dennis Ryman. Uh, we got a lot of information about uh, BTC Pay Server and the plugin model that uh, they uh, recently adopted. And if you want to get uh, more and more information about uh, this uh, uh, powerful tool, uh, you can go to the website, uh, the BTC Pay Server uh, website, where you have a lot of precious information about this uh, tool. And uh, more and more, uh, you can uh, get uh, uh, the API reference uh, documentation here. Uh, if you are a developer, you can get uh, all the information needed to activate a connection to uh, to connect your own application to BTC Pay Server. So BTC Pay Server is not just uh, a tool for getting payments uh, in uh, a shop or a web shop, but is also a powerful tool you can connect uh, externally with uh, your own application if you are a developer. So I hope to have provided uh, enough information about this powerful uh, tool. And if you have additional information, we are available in uh, the description and comments in this uh, uh, video. And if you are satisfied by uh, the quality of this content, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.